Welcome to episode 10 of the Automation Minute Flashback, brought to you by InsightsInAutomation.com. I'm Sean Tierney, your host, and today we continue our flashback series featuring View Studio and Lynx Enterprise with a video detailing how to browse for compact and control logics tags from graphic display objects inside of View Studio. Okay, at this point we'll go ahead and choose a tag that exists inside of a control logics processor. So I'll drop another numeric display on the screen and we'll tie a tag to that value and again I can turn on or off the server names but in this case they're already on so I'll go right down to the control logics I'll explore the online folder and when I click on the online folder it will open and show me all of the controller based tags in this case I want some program tags so I'll select the program and I'll choose this motion tag now keep in mind when you directly reference a tag inside of a controller to a value on an object it will include the address will include the shortcut name so you don't want to go back to Iris Lynx Enterprise and change the shortcut name, name later otherwise you'll have to go through all your objects on your screens and update those shortcuts manually now if we wanted to add an object for our flex logics which is offline then we have to choose a different folder. In this case, let me close up the control logics and expand the flex logics. Now we actually don't have it connected, so I'll choose the offline folder. One thing to note about going offline tag browsing with logics is that in version 3.1, this, fe this uh, feature was very, very slow. In version 3.2, the version we're using right now, it works extremely well. But in version 4.0, you have to get a patch to get it to work as well as it did in 3.2. Now again, when I choose the offline folder and it opens, I can see all the objects or what we call the controller tags. And again, I can go into a program folder and see program tags. And in this case, I'll go ahead and choose one of these tags. Again, the shortcut name is part of the reference, so you do not want to change your RSLink shortcut name after you've chosen tags for your objects on your screens. At this point, that's the end of our RSView Studio communications tutorial. I hope it was helpful. My name is Sean Tierney, and thank you for watching. Well, that's it for today's episode of the Automation Minute Flashback. If you'd like to know how to get my complete PanelView Plus training course when it's available, click on the link in this video's description or visit theautomationschool.com. And for more automation how-to videos, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash insights in automation or visit our video website at theautomationminute.com.